Hi there, it's Phil from Scholarcy. I recently saw this excellent video which is in front of me here from Stephen McQuilliam who's a researcher at Liverpool John Moores University. In this video he shows how to use Excel as an interactive database by making use of Excel's slicer functionality that lets you easily filter your data by things like author, main topic and paper type. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show how Scholarcy can make use of this this idea from all the information that it gets extracted automatically by Scholarcy Library. So we have a collection of papers in Scholarcy. Uh, in this case these are from Med Archive. I'm going to export them to Excel and then I'm going to apply the techniques from Stephen's video to this Excel spreadsheet that Scholarcy has generated automatically. So here's the spreadsheet that's pulled out all the key information, keywords, uh, ethical compliance, contributions, limitations, objectives, and so on. So the first thing I do is, following Stephen's video, I select the data, I go into insert, and I make it a table. And then I'm going to insert a blank row above it, and insert a blank column to the left. And I'm going to make this first row quite deep. This is going to hold all my slices. Uh, I can format this data, you know, I can centralize everything, I can do a word wrap, um, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. So now I click on any cell in that table. I go into the insert menu again, and this time I go slicer. And I want to slice by author, by year, by keyword, and uh, study participant. So let's just do that. And I get my slices. I'm just going to drag them up here. Now, Steve's video goes into much more detail um, on how you can format these slices. Uh, I'm just going to do this really simply for now. This year slicer can be a timeline if you've got many years in there. I'm just going to make that as two columns. Uh, we've only got two years worth of data in this instance. We've got our keywords. Just make that a bit bigger there. Uh, maybe just make that two column as well. There we go. And study participants. I'm just going to make that bigger as well. Great. So that's the real basics of it. You can do a lot more, but this is just the initial setup. Uh, so as a first step, I might want to filter just 2021 papers. And then from the keywords, I might say I'm only interested in um, papers about opioid use disorder. So I select it from here and there's a multi select here. So I'll select all the ones that talk about opioid use disorder in their list of keywords. Uh, and there we go. We've got um, three papers here. And then we can see things like the findings. So if I just double click on findings here, I can see that if I resize my column, um, that the random forest received an accuracy of 72% and so on. So we can select each one. We can then filter by studies. So we can talk about, look about ones that talk about 20 patients, see what sort of things they had in their limitations. So on. we can just filter by author and break the information down. And then we can clear the filters to show everything. So I'm just going to clear all those filters there. And go back to the beginning. So I might say, well, I'm only interested in one, say this one here has got 125 patients. And um, then I want to jump straight to the finding of that paper. And so um, we've got the key findings there, no significant difference in the initial dose of diazepam between the participants in the four conditions investigated. So it just makes it a really easy way to slice and dice the data, change the filters at will, um, just look at particular ones. So this one's about sleep disruption, so I can click on that. Uh, again, look at the main finding of that study. Um, all four diagnostic groups had significantly different rates of sleep disruption for all pairwise comparisons and so on. So we can get the main findings there. We can click on contributions and again just resize the column to see um, the clinical and demographic factors associated with sleep disturbance are similar across the different groups that they they ran in the experiment. So it's just a really nice way of just comparing the literature for a particular subject. I hope you found this useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more and do check out Stephen's original video on this topic. Thanks very much.